All right, everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make chicken flautas uh, or taquitos. Uh, some people will also call them rolled chicken tacos, uh, but either way, whatever you call them, they're really, really delicious. I'm gonna show you guys how to make those. I'm also gonna show you a quick and easy pico de gallo or like a chopped salsa that you can use um, to eat these with. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Let's just get straight into it, all right? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is prep some lettuce, and that's gonna be one of the main toppings for the flautas once we're done with them. So I'm gonna start by just taking off some of the uh, some of the softer, you know, browner leaves that are on the outside. And we're gonna smash the core right onto the cutting board and just remove that, and that just makes the core come out really, really easily, um, or stem, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I'm just gonna cut that whole head in half, and then I'm just gonna turn it on its side and thinly slice it. Um, you can do the whole head. I'm, I think I just used half the head here and save the other half for, um, you know, salad or uh, sandwiches or something like that. And yeah, so just set that off to the side in a bowl, um, rinse it in some cold water, uh, and then you can set it in the fridge. Uh, so now we'll start uh, with the pico de gallo. So I've got half of an onion here. <clears throat> and make sure you save the other half. We're actually going to use that when we cook our chicken. So I'm going to take half of an onion and just finely, finely dice it. So you got those onions diced, you're gonna set them off to the side in a bowl. And now I have five medium sized tomatoes and I'm just gonna finally dice these up as well. There's a lot of different ways to do this. This is kind of how I do it. I like to cut it in half, lay it on its side. Um, and then I just, you know, slice it down into thin slices and then I'll go across as you can see here. And then once you get that, just to make them even finer, you can just do a rough chop all the way through. Cause this is, you know, it doesn't need to be like perfect little squares or whatever. Um, this is all just gonna be kind of mixed up together as a pico de gallo. I'm sure that most of y'all know what that is. Next ingredient is gonna be the juice of two whole limes. So as you can see here, uh, I'm just taking the whole lime before I cut it or anything, just gonna roll it around on the uh, cutting board using a little, a little bit of pressure from my palm. And that's just gonna kind of release all of the juices on the inside, make it a lot easier to squeeze. So we're gonna cut those in half and then just squeeze them straight into the bowl and try and get as much juice out of them as possible. Uh, also cilantro, so I've got um, half of a bunch. So, you know, they come in bunches when you buy them at the grocery store. I used half of a bunch here. Uh, just cut off the stems and then just rough chop through the whole thing. All right, so next we're gonna go in with one tablespoon of salt and an ingredient that I had left out here just because some people don't like spice is jalapeno. Now, if you want to, you can always have jalapeno. Uh, I would, you know, if you're looking for like a, a mild, you know, maybe one jalapeno or even half of a jalapeno in there, um, medium two to three, you know, just depends on how hot you want it. But once you got everything in there, just give everything a mix, let that salt really do its work. It's gonna bring out all of the flavors from those ingredients and set it off to the side in the fridge and you are done. All right, so next we're gonna get started on our chicken uh, in a large pot. I've got five whole chicken breasts and feel free to trim these now or you can trim them later, it just depends. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the other half of that onion that we had from leftover from the pico de gallo. I'm gonna go in with some fresh lime. I think I did two whole limes. Uh, squeeze the juice in, throw the whole lime in. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of garlic powder, and then 28 ounces of chicken stock. <clears throat> Once you've got that in, just go ahead and uh, bring it up to a simmer and cover it with a lid. Let it go for about 45 minutes to one hour. Um, that's just really gonna get this chicken super, super tender and it's gonna be really easy to shred. So we're gonna scoop that chicken out and then let it cool off. And you can do this uh, you know, a couple hours in advance or you could do it the day ahead. And now we're just gonna shred that chicken uh, by hand. And then we've got some of that stock left over from the chicken that we had um, and we're just gonna add in about a half a cup, quarter cup, half a cup, um, just to kind of give it some of that flavor. Check it for seasoning here. It needs a little more salt, so I added a little bit of salt, probably about a teaspoon. And yeah, just give that a good mix, and that is your chicken. 
All right, so let's start rolling these things up. We're gonna start with some corn tortillas and I'm just gonna take about half the pack, uh, set them and break them up a little bit. As you can see here, I'm gonna set them in uh, double layered paper towels and uh, fold them up. And then I'm gonna put them in the microwave for about a minute, minute and a half uh, on high, just to kind of steam them a little bit. And that's just gonna make them a little more pliable so they don't fall apart when we're trying to roll the chicken. So now we're just gonna take them, lay them flat on the cutting board, put a little bit of your chicken in, start from the edge and roll forward. And when you get to the seam at the end right there, that's where you just wanna make sure that you lay it down on the seam so that it doesn't come unrolled. And when we put them in the pan, we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, so here we go, just keep going with that. If you wanna use a toothpick, you can use a toothpick. I know a lot of people do that. I've done it before, um, And but yeah, either way. So now, <clears throat> on the stove we are going to heat up some oil in a pan and the way to check and see if your oil is hot there you go just dip a piece of tortilla in there see if it starts sizzling and now we're just going to add these uh, flautas into the hot oil and as you can see uh, I'm putting them seam side down and I was doing it with by hand but then I you know realized okay it's starting to splash a little bit you know it's not the safest thing <laughs> um, I, uh, I do have chef hands. I've been cooking for a long time, so it doesn't bother me, but I know that a lot of people, you know, obviously don't want to get splashed with hot oil. So here you go. I'm showing you that you can also do this with tongs. So as you can see, just kind of turn them, make sure you turn them every 45 seconds, uh, 30, 45 seconds. You don't want to burn them. The chicken on the inside is already done. Obviously, we already cooked that. So really what you're trying to do here is just crisp up the outside. Just get that tortilla nice and crispy like a chip. Uh, set them on a paper towel. Let them drain off a little bit of that excess oil and cool off a little bit until they're ready to eat. Once you're ready to eat, <clears throat> here's how I like to set them up. Put them on a plate. Put some of that shredded lettuce. Top them with some crema. If you don't have crema, you can use sour cream. Um, and then also some of that fresh pico de gallo. If you did not want to make the pico de gallo or you don't have time, you can always just get some store-bought salsa. You know, it's it's still going to be good. Uh, now we're also going to go in with some uh, shredded, or not shredded, some crumbled uh, queso fresco. And um, yeah, that's it. That's your flautas. These are one of my favorite things to order at Mexican restaurants. And I think that this is better than any of the ones that I've had. All right, so there we go. Chicken flautas, chicken taquitos, rolled chicken tacos, whatever you want to call them. They are freaking delicious. And as you can see, they're very easy to make. If you guys want to do this recipe, please comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Also, let me know what uh, recipes you want to see me do in the future. And uh, I'm trying to get those done for you guys. Thank you so much.